sweetheart. I'm coming to see you. I brought you something you're going to love. Hey guys, so I'm just on my way to see the funny farm. I brought Annabelle a graham cracker. I brought the chickens some noodles that were left over from supper last night. And while I'm over here, I'm going to tell you guys the real story of what happened yesterday. As y'all know, I post a video. Annabelle was violently attacked. I was chased into the shed. Um, but I left some things out in my video yesterday because I was all shooken up. So that's what we're going to do. It's story time. Um, Annabelle, can I get across the fence, please? Get down. You're hurting me. Come on. You're so cute. Come on. <laughs> Let me put my step down. Hey, little girl. <laughs> Annie, hold on. That's all I have. It's all gone. I'll bring you another one next time I come. Or a piece of bread. Okay? My little sweet baby. Get her butt. Hey, guys. I brought you guys some noodles. Okay, so now it's story time while they have their noodle uh, mukbang. So yesterday after Sunny attacked Annabelle, um, I got some chicken scratch and I got him lured back into the chicken lot into the trampoline run. Then I shut the door so that he couldn't get back into the chicken lot. I opened the chicken lot up. I chased all the hens in except for one of the barred rocks. So I shut the main chicken coop door and I went to get the other hen. And the reason I shut the main chicken coop door is so the other hens wouldn't get out because they were trying to uh, run back out. Well, when I went to get that barred rock, all of a sudden, I noticed Sonny had got out of the trampoline run. Now, he either came out the top poles, flew out of it, but he probably more than likely came underneath the bottom. Well, he was on the war path. So, he saw me and he started viciously running and chasing me. And he chased me around the chicken coop about three times. And I darted into Annabelle's shed and shut the door real quick. And every time I tried to come out, he came back over here charging. So, I had to message my husband to come and get Sonny and the other hen um, back up. Of course, he was laughing and I was crying. Um, you know, I didn't even think to video it while I was in the shed because I was so scared and shook up about it. But he was out for blood. He was not joking. And I don't know why he dislikes me so much. But, like, with Annabelle, he did stop attacking her. But Sonny has chased after me. And uh, I had a chair between me one time. And that's the only thing that uh, kept him from getting me. But he chased me all the way out of the yard, attacking the chair all the way. 
And anyways, that is what really happened yesterday. I was really scared. He was very aggressive. I mean, I would try to come out of the shed. And he was trying to attack me. I mean, like a psycho. Like most roosters, you know, they may get you once or twice and they leave you alone. But he chased me around this whole entire chicken coop. It was crazy. It was still trying to get me when I was coming, trying to get out of the shed. It scared me. I'm very upset with Sonny right now. Of course, I'll never get rid of him. He's part of the family. But, um, gosh, I guess the lesson of this is never take in a rooster that's got fighting rooster in him because he is psycho. <laughs> right? <laughs> Even this morning when I come to let him out, you know, we have a window on the coop and he perches in front of that. Well, this morning I was being over putting food in the tray. I hadn't opened them um, up yet. And when I raised up, he like darted at the window. And he was still aggressive. Of course, I got a rope on the door so I can open the main chicken coop door and don't have to be inside the lot because, you know, this rooster would come out charging. And he did. He came out. He came into the chicken run. And, you know, I was walking around giving scratch. And he was still very aggressive. Yeah. Sorry, Sonny, but we're telling the truth on you. Because you was mean to me and Annabelle. I know Annabelle invaded his space. And, you know, he was just protecting himself in the flock. <laughs>